Hello everyone, it's Kevin, the homemaker husband. It is Friday evening, starting to get almost 9.30 in the evening. Uh, August the 5th. First, I thought I should say, explain the last little short video that Michelle put up for me. The death that we had in my family was my older brother, Andy. 16 months older than me, so he just 56. Last April passed and uh, he's been battling cancer for about the last three years and uh, wasn't a very fun thing that's for sure and ultimately they did lots and lots of stuff to try to to help him but ultimately he lost that battle so last Friday morning I guess it was July 29th he passed away about 10 30 in the morning and it was a uh, a pretty pretty rough weekend and of course I didn't sleep real, real well for two or three nights and Michelle had a rough time too and uh, but we are grateful grateful that he's not suffering anymore certainly not grateful that he's gone but uh, at least grateful that he's not suffering anymore so even in that God is good so that being said, for all of you who sent your condolences, I appreciate it. It really does mean more than you can imagine just to know that other people in the parts or in parts of this great world that uh, I've never been in a lot of cases and or and in some cases I've been but not for a long long time but to think that other people are thinking of us and praying for us in a difficult time like this means an awfully lot so thank you to each and every one of you now tonight what we're doing Michelle has worked all week doing a grocery order food prices are climbing so quickly like she could um, tell you faster than I could obviously she's the one that's studying basically studying the prices week on week and uh, she'll every once in a while send me a text some like a case of water went up a dollar uh, this week. Uh, there's lots of things that have gone way up, like and the prices are getting quite high. So once again, we've got food to put in the pantry. We've got food that we're going to be like eating and uh, they get treated differently. Being we have such size restrictions, they're pretty much in the same place, but uh, we have some items that are more or less for long term and some, as I said, that we will eat right out of as it goes and then we just replaced. So you can't really see too much, but this is just part of what we got here. And I'm actually gonna do this video in three parts because I'm gonna show you what we got here. And then I'm going to, there's a bunch of frozen stuff and a bunch of uh, refrigerated stuff that I'm gonna do actually I'll take it out do it in the morning make my video and put that stuff back away and then there's just a few items that just simply because I mean I got too much stuff here but just simply because I don't have enough room I'm gonna make another short little video on that so mm -hmm. without rambling anymore I'm going to uh, change up the camera angle and show you what we got here so stay tuned and if you hear it, the dog's playing he's got his belly full now so he's playing and he's currently uh trying to turn himself upside down and maybe even inside out over there i'm not sure but anyway stay tuned okay so with some of this because it's so crowded it's going to be kind of hard for me to maneuver the camera around and move some products so if the video gets to be a little shaky or poor quality, what Michelle cannot fix, please bear with me. So for right now, I got another can of coffee. I'm able to buy this right now for $8.97 a can. So it's up $2 from what it was for a long time, but it is seemingly holding steady right now. So I got another one of them for inventory basically. And I'm just, you know, using it as I go, but I've got a little bit set aside. 
We got another two boxes of this dainty rice in the pilaf flavor. We have eaten one, so now we're adding back to and increasing the stock a little bit. Same with this Chinese here. Now, the other flavor, there's another flavor. Anyway, oh, uh, not awful. It eludes me, but they didn't have any tonight, or I would have got uh, those, two of those as well, because it's going to throw my count out and I'm kind of a little twitchy like that. This here is currently the one Michelle is using. We have another one of them or two, actually two more of them. Got a couple more cans of manwich sauce. We used one and as I said to increase our inventory a little bit we replace and increase by one. Same with the, the potatoes, canned potatoes. We have used a can, and now we're gonna increase a can. So they are awfully, awfully good. And they're quick and convenient. Now we put them in soup that we made last weekend. So on Sunday, we still did have to make food for the week. And we used a can. So once again, use a can, buy two, so we replace and increase. Got another uh, box of these 200 packets of sweetener and you know what there's probably some of you that will say that stuff is poison and you know what maybe it is but so sugar so uh you got a little i guess you'd call it a bottle of this secret sauce for burgers we're both wanting a beef burger tomorrow night and we're going to put that on it so we got one of them this is like our ongoing we're eating this. This isn't this. This is not for inventory at all. Now the tuna was on special this week. Michelle, I think, said 97 cents a can for the great value tuna, and that is really good because it's. She'll maybe make a note, but it's getting like almost a dollar 75 a can or something like that. So we picked up actually. She ordered six of them, and we got them here. So we got uh, two more cans of this flakes of chicken. These, once again, all of this is going in our pantry stock. And if we, for some reason, decided we wanted to eat one, we will. We were The canned meats and stuff like this, like they last, the dates on them are for a couple of years. These are for 2025, as you can see there. March 25th of 25. And as long as them cans don't get real rusty or you don't see them swelling or anything like that you could open them You'd, your nose would tell you immediately if they were bad so they probably would last a lot longer than that she uh, saw this right here brownie mix and it's salted caramel flavor so she thought that would be a good thing we're just putting that on the pantry shelf we may well make it first it just depends you know whenever we need something if this is what we decide we're gonna use, then this is what we'll make, so. She picked up two more cream of chicken soups. We used one, once again, last weekend in a chicken pie. So, use one, replace it, and get another one. It's to build a little bit of inventory. Two more cans of dark red kidney beans. Once again, these are for the pantry. Two, two more cans of peaches and cream corn. Once again, same deal. We used one last weekend. Replace and increase. Uh, Michelle is not a relish fan, but I am. This is going in the fridge. This is for our consumption immediately. I will use it on my burger tomorrow. And there's different little hot sandwiches that I make uh, that I like relish on. So these are for Michelle and they're for immediate consumption. These brand buds, we're gonna be baking with them, so you could eat it, but you know, like a cereal, but that's what it is, but we will be baking with it, so. I guess I'll come out here. We got a can of this. This is awfully good vegetable soup. Um, we're not keeping big bunches of it in our inventory. I guess it's probably, a, getting close to three dollars a can or two and a half it's not not the cheapest soup you can buy but the two of us will eat one can for a meal and uh we just 
we've only got one of that flavor anyway, so, and we'll eat it here. Now, uh, two of these, hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. It's uh, absolutely not diet, but it is delicious. Sweet Baby Ray's. Two of them, they are for the inventory, and I guess before I blow over these, I'll, two more of these little packages of biscuit mix, Bisquick. Just add water, 15 minutes, and they ain't kidding. You got hot biscuits, and they're pretty darn tasty. And then there's these, same concept, just add water, and you'll get a half a dozen blueberry muffins. They are good, Michelle likes them. Oftentimes when I make these, you know, as it gets to be about a Wednesday evening, and Michelle will say, I don't have a snack for tomorrow. And these are so quick and easy, maybe I'll just throw them together, and then she's got a snack. Got two more bottles of this plum sauce. As you know, a while back we had a lot of chicken patties, chicken fingers, chicken nuggets. This is what I eat on them. Michelle, when she eats that stuff, she uses it too, and it's very good. It's our favorite. So this is actually for, and I apologize, trying to look too many places. This is actually for our pantry stock. I got four more bottles of Prego. I got all original sauce, the flavor again, and I should have mixed it up, but we love this. This is very good. We, once again, used one last, or two weeks ago, I guess, and I'm just getting them replaced now, so. Anyway, they basically are for the pantry stock. And this uh, press and seal, picture of an avocado there, but uh, this works really well. And I'll tell you what we have it for. Our cat is missing so many teeth. We feed her a combination of hard food and the wet food, and she makes a terrible mess. So Michelle was thinking maybe if I put this lined her dish with this, it'd be one use for it. And then every day I can just peel it out. And uh, I know I, I washed the dish, but what I'm getting at is there'll be hard food. I got to dump it out, wash the dish, put the food back in because she picks away there and stuff. But we got uh, just one lemon. Michelle has a use for it. I'm not exactly sure what it is yet, but she must have something in mind. And I think she said one lemon a dollar now. I got these. Two packs of these. She she got them for me. Uh, I take one of these in my lunch usually today. I think I had two, but I didn't. I left before breakfast this morning, so, and I love them. It's applesauce, very good. It's unsweetened. It's got its own natural sugar, obviously. But uh, 50 calories, so I'll eat one of them. No big deal. I think we only have one more package of this. Now we have several uh, containers of yeast, or a container, one that's freeze dried and sealed there. I'm not opening it right away. It's for inventory. I made a loaf of bread a couple of weeks ago, and one package of this works perfect in the bread machine, so we need it. I think I got one of those left, so I asked Michelle, or reminded her, and she got two strips of them. So six packages. Got uh, two more two kilogram bags of sugar. Uh, this is for both immediate consumption and like an ongoing use and for storage. I'm gonna buy uh, another big bag at Costco. First time I get there, so. Uh, bag of carrots. This is something she said. They went up a dollar since the last one she bought. So uh, prices are climbing on that as well. When we made the soup last week, we used one of these. So actually we used one and a half, but I had a half in the freezer and then one on the shelf. So that's just the replacement. Uh, Cause she, they go on sale quite often and she'll build the inventory when they're on sale. You know, these aseptic boxes here, I had a friend who used to leave milk in these in his camp and he would leave them all summer and whatnot and you just refrigerate it and the milk would not sour in them in the heat for a year or two at a time it stayed good in these containers they're pretty amazing really uh, two cans of Pringles here for on the shelf two more packages of these we made one of these a couple of weeks ago 
and it was absolutely delicious. It might have showed that in a video, I'm not sure. Not the making of it, because there's nothing to it, right? But uh, showed it on the plate, I think. It's really, really, really good. And then these salted top crackers. Soda crackers. So, I think we're gonna have soup at some time on the weekend. Like I said, these things right here are for immediate consumption, right? And then down here, had to get the dog some more dentist sticks. And another case of soft cat food. So I think I showed everything there. And uh, as I said, it's just part of it. It's a lot of items. So now this evening, I'm gonna put it away. Tomorrow after breakfast, get things cleaned up. I'll show you the rest, so stay tuned. Okay, good morning. Saturday morning now. And as I told you last night in the earlier part of this video, I had more stuff than I could set there, so I'm doing it in stages. Now this bunch here is just a tiny little bit. Then I've got a rejigger all, and I'm gonna show you what we bought that's in the fridge or in the freezer. And Michelle reminded me just now, uh, yep, there's a lot of stuff in this video, and we know that we are very blessed. And what I'm about to show you is just stuff. Prices are creeping up on it as well. And there may come a time in the next six months or a year when food is so expensive that we're gonna to have to forego some of this stuff. Or if we had to buy this stuff, we would have to forego a food item or two, you know, to be able to afford it. So we're just putting a little stuff away and we're not talking about the zombie apocalypse because I'll tell you, if the zombie apocalypse was to happen, we wouldn't have enough stuff to survive for very long. But at any rate, I'll show you what we got here. And then like I say, I'm gonna rejig and we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'll just show you this. This here, new can opener, is identical to the one that we've got and I've been using. We have an electric one in there on the shelf. And it works good, it's just cupboard space, counter space, right? So the one we have, it's got a lot of miles on it and it's slipping, not cutting real well. So we got a new one here to replace that one. And you can see back here, this is a case of pot from Michelle. Now I've only drank two cans of pop, I think in the last month. So we haven't had to buy any. I've got more than two cases put away there and that'll probably last a long time. But Michelle still drinks one can a day. There's not a thing wrong with that. So we got her another case. Also back here, there's two more tubes of this toothpaste that we use. Maybe that shows our age, but anyway, Sensodyne Rapid Relief, brush with it constantly and it greatly reduces tooth pain. I basically don't have any and I don't think Michelle usually does. If she does, it's not caused from hot or cold anyway, so that's a good thing. Two more bottles here of my shampoo. Two more bottles of Michelle's shampoo. Two more of these uh, hand soaps that we use in the washroom and two more of her antiperspirants and two toothbrushes. So they are basically for our inventory. So that's that part. Just a, a few small little things here, but important things. So as I said, now I rejig and I'm gonna show you some other stuff. And then we'll be done for this video. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're back for round three. I'm gonna just show you these. This right here, Bellagio hamburger buns. Michelle and I are both going to have burgers this evening for supper. And so we had to get hamburger buns. So we'll each have one and then I'll freeze the rest. This is another package of pepperoni sticks. I've been taking one or two of these, generally two in my lunch to work each day. So I'm fresh out, so we have to get another package. So this is for immediate consumption. I've got right here 
three packages of bacon. Now these ones here are the 375 gram. So not even a pound. It's thick cut bacon, but it's pretty good looking stuff. I'm gonna fry uh, a couple slices for each of us, or at least a couple slices to put on our burgers tonight because our burgers are gonna have the works. But I've got three pounds here, or three packages. Two of these Swift and one great va value maple flavored. And uh, that's 375 grams as well. So three packages of bacon. I'm gonna fry, I'll leave one out and we'll consume it over the next couple, three days. And the other two are going straight in the freezer. We got four more pounds of ground beef, two regular and two medium. And we just buy it that way. Michelle has a reason she does it and it's a good reason. So we just use it the same. Sometimes I specifically will pick a less fatty burger, but typically just whatever I pull out, we use. And that's the way that goes. A package of Velveeta cheese slices, which is now 22, has been for some time, but that is shrinkflation and somebody once corrected me on that. But you hear shrink inflation or shrinkflation all the time. We got two more packages of Donair meat. This stuff is delightful and it's going in the freezer for our store. She got two packages of these chicken wieners. They're like two bucks a piece. And these are specifically, and I mean, I like them as well, but basically this is so the dog isn't eating the expensive ones. We got two more, two more 10 packs of these, which is another example of shrinkflation. And they were um, 249 for each package, which is a really good deal. They're, they're uh, over $6, almost seven, I think, for this same package at Walmart now. So the see one special, I got them. They're going in the freezer for our store, our storage, pantry, whatever you want to call it. Uh, two dozen eggs, they were on special down there. Uh, at Giant Tiger is where I got them. And they were 388 for a dozen. Eggs are getting extremely, extremely expensive and are said to get more expensive. So that's, we we'll buy them as long as we can. Obviously we don't have a dehydrator, so we can't really store them. I guess you can freeze eggs and I have fro ate frozen eggs before and you'd never know the difference. Like frozen right in the shell. So can do it. And then there's two of these toaster strudels. Michelle likes to have one for breakfast sometime. And I've, I've ate them before. They're very good, but they're not exactly what I call a diet food. She got uh, blueberry here and strawberry there. So Therefore, basically for consumption now, but they're going in, obviously in the freezer. She got another package of bran muffins. She'll eat these. Uh, not every day. I, I freeze them, I take them out one at a time, cut them in half, and she'll eat them. And uh, she likes them very well. They are very good. I just haven't had one for a while because that's it. I don't want to keep beating the drum that I'm dieting, but I am. So some foods are off limits by me for me for now we got some chicken burgers chicken patties as well the Janes these are really good and uh, they're kind of for immediate consumption as well obviously we're not by immediate I don't mean today uh, whenever we feel like eating them we just will and we got these beef burgers we've had them before and uh, they are very good as well and that's what we're gonna eat tonight got another package of my yogurt I take one or two of these. There's only 40 calories for container. They're very small. Quite often I'll eat two of them in a day. They're delicious. They, uh, well, they're just good. They're, they help me get through my day here. And then we got this bag of diced mixed vegetables. Obviously they're a great value from Walmart. Michelle thought if we ever got in a real hurry to make soup, uh, we could just use these vegetables and she's correct. It would uh, reduce the prep time by another 20 minutes you know, or more. And we've got a bag of blueberries here because we are going to make blueberry jam and there will be a video of that when the time comes. I'm not exactly sure when we're gonna do that. Next week or two here. 
But uh, because of my brother's passing, I was going to go picking blueberries last weekend, but just didn't get there. So anyway, I think that is about this, about all for this grocery haul. I still need to pick up a couple of cases of water, um, just two or three little things like that. So, but at any rate, this is, as I said, some for immediate consumption, some for the pantry. So if you've watched this far, thank you very much for watching. Uh, maybe you need to be doing this for yourself. Let your conscience be your guide on that one. Uh, give it thoughtful consideration and look at what's going on around us and you decide for yourself what's right. This is Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying thank you for watching and uh, hope you have a great weekend and stay tuned for more. There will be more videos to come. God bless. Have a great day. Bye now.